We are going to go ahead and use Inventor to make a model of a roof truss. Um, my truss happens to look like this. Yours will probably look completely different, but this is the basic guideline of how to do it. Um, before I do anything, I want to make sure I open a new part file and I'm going to save it right from the start just to be in a good habit of doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this little home button down here that gets me a new part or you could go to file new part. Okay, and before I start drawing, I'm gonna save this. So I'm gonna go to file, save, and from our drop down menu, you are gonna choose Google Drive and your drive. And you should have already set up a folder uh, for classroom folders, but if you didn't, we're, you're gonna have to navigate to it. So go to classroom folders, you probably won't see any of this, but let's say we're choosing period two. And once I have that up here in a folder, I'm gonna go ahead and change my part name to the way uh, it says to do it for the project. So we're gonna go truss dash, I'm gonna put my last name. You'll put your last name and your partner's last name, and then dash, and we're gonna say period, period, two and click save so now it's in there all right you can see it up there so now every time i go to file save it's just gonna save the new stuff over, over the old so let's go ahead and get started with drawing we're going to start with a 2d sketch and i'm going to choose the xy plane because i want the truss to be facing me so for this video, we're just going to work on the outer triangle, and then we'll do the truss members in the next video. So let's start with the line tool. And somewhere over here, just click and make sure you stay at zero degrees. You want it perfectly flat. I'm going to type in 22 inches, hit enter, and then hit my zoom all so that the whole thing shows up. I'm going to re-click on my line tool because I don't want to draw from this corner. I'm going to click on my line tool so I can draw from anywhere. And you'll see in the middle here, the button turns green. I'm going to click straight up, make it exactly 90 degrees, 5.5, enter. Okay, now I can just continue to draw to the green dot. And then green dot to green dot. It's important that you do that so that it's connected. And now I'm going to hit the escape button on my keyboard. That clears all the tools out. So now I can just click on the dimension, hit delete button on my keyboard and hit this line here because we don't need it and hit delete. Okay, so we're left with this nice, neat outer triangle. We want to make an inner triangle to make this look like a piece of wood that goes, goes all the way around. So we're going to use a nice tool called the offset tool. Okay, so if you click on that tool and then click on that hover over that triangle, you should see the whole thing light up. If it doesn't all light up, that means you don't have all your endpoints connected. So assuming it's lit up, we're going to click on it and let go of our mouse button and then just drag a little bit and you'll see the offset form. And we're going to type in 0.5, that's the thickness of the wood we're using, and hit enter. Okay. One more thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and make a construction line. Okay, that's a line that's not going to actually show up, but we can use the line as a tool. So we're going to click on the construction line button and then the line tool. And we're going to start here and go straight down at zero degrees or 90 degrees until it gets to the green button. Click enter or click the button and you'll see that this one shows up as a dashed line. We are going to use that um, in future drawing parts. Uh, it's kind of more like a temporary thing. So right now we're off to a good start. Uh, go ahead and make sure you're at this point. And when you are, go ahead and save your work. And we will move on to tutorial number two for this part.